All right, guys, so with the two-year anniversary coming in about, like, five months, I guess you can say, five, six months from now, um, th with the dev letter and everything, like, they did reveal what uh, some of the plans they have for the two-year anniversary. And with Dynamax coming, um, there's going to be even more big stuff coming. And that's just the, like, little thing that they're sort of sprinkling us uh, for the one-year or for the two-year anniversary. It's just a little bit of information to sort of get us hyped up. And I know a lot of you guys aren't really too happy about the Dynamaxing, but, um... Maybe that is a potential way that they're going to be reviving co-op. Um, because I've seen a lot of talk like on Reddit, Twitter, and everything, and even some people have been messaging me about that too. Um, so it's definitely a very high possibility that um, Dynamaxing is going to be reviving co-op. Um, but even if they don't want to go the route of reviving co-op with Dynamaxing, there's other ways that they can go about uh, reviving co-op, of course. Um, so like we know in other games where they have co-op, you have like raids and stuff like that, so it doesn't have to be with Dynamaxing like I said, um, but um, obviously if they do Dynamaxing, that would probably be more fun, um, just because of how Pokemon Master is set up, they can do Dynamax raids for sure, and that's most likely what they're going to be doing, honestly, um, and that's going to be how they're going to be adding in Dynamaxing, um, but like I said, like if like, they can definitely uh, not do Dynamax with co-op, which would probably be the more logical thing to do, um, just because with Sword and Shield, like, that is basically what is carrying the game at this point. Uh, the, like, the raid feature and everything, and that's what really has a lot of replay, um, like, value to the game. Um, but, like I said, they don't need to do, uh, Dynamaxing for, uh, for co-op. They can do other stuff, like, in other games, like I was <laughs> trying to say before I interrupted myself. Um, like, they could just do, like, random stuff like they're, like, they're doing right now. Um, like, the Legend Arena. They could add that for co-op. Um, and that would be a lot of fun. Um, and then, of course, you can get some uh, rewards for the Legend Arena co-op. So, like, when you beat it with the other players around the world, you can get level up manuals. Maybe you can get coins. Uh, you can get training items, of course. Like, the, the rewards could be completely random. Uh, but at least, like, we could play with friends. We could do, uh, like, we could play with other people around the world with the Legend Arena. Um, they could do that for sure. Um, and then uh, they could even do other stuff as well. Like, they could have the same feature what they have right now. But they can add they can add in a weekly thing to it. So like if you do co-op, um, they could uh, have like your uh, accumulated damage. Uh, so like over the week uh, with how much damage you've done throughout the week, and then you have and then you're placed like sort of in like a, a leaderboard, I guess you could say or something like that. But it's not like a competitive thing or whatever. Um, it could just be for like a level up material, and that's about it. So like if you want to do co-op, then that's just an, an extra way where you can get more material. So they could do that. Um, uh, like, I'm just excluding Dynamaxing, because that's most likely what they're going to happen, but if they decide not to do co-op with uh, Dynamaxing, um, I'm just sort of giving ideas, like, what I think could, po like, what they could possibly do if they want to revive co-op, because it's been such a long time, uh, since they've done anything with co-op, and, uh, with the Legend Arena, like, it was a perfect opportunity for them to do co-op in, in that way as well. Um, and that would have been so much more fun, honestly. It would have been really, really fun having co-op with uh, the Legendary Arena. Because, like, with how, how, like, for the Legendary Arena with co-op, they could make the health bar so high that, um, like, for example, uh, Cobalion, he's with the fire, so then you could have a full team of uh, Charizards. And even with the full team of Charizards, it could probably be a little bit difficult, depending on the difficulty you choose for that co-op battle. So I think that would be very fun, of course. Um, so like if they don't do Dynamaxing, I would really like them to see them do co-op with uh, the Legend Arena. And that could be a, a possibility in the future as well, of course, like if we send them feedback letting them know like, hey, do co-op with the Legend Arena, then they'll probably take that into consideration and try to find a system on how it could work. Or they could even do something like with a little bit of competition, um, where like if you like your accumulated damage throughout the week or throughout the month, um, and at the end of the week or end of the month, then you get uh, rewards based on how much damage you've done. Um, like, it doesn't have to be a ranking thing, but, like, it could be, like, um, like a, a little tier thing. So, like, it could just be for yourself. Um, so, like, let's say you need to do, like, 1 million damage. And then you could get, like, uh, 500 three-star level up manuals and, uh, like, 200 of, uh, of uh, like, uh, all the level cap stuff as well. Like, they could even do it that way so that it incentivizes us to do a little bit of co-op and then of course we work in a little bit of the system for co-op as well and how we uh, initiate the battles and everything so I don't know there, there's a lot that they can do of course um, but I'm just sort of throwing up throwing out <laughs> not throwing up uh, throwing out some ideas on what they could possibly do of course 
Um, but anyways, those are just some of my ideas. If you guys like some of them, then definitely let me know down in the comments below. Uh, but if you have your ideas, definitely leave yours in the comments below as well. Because uh, there's a bunch of ways that they can make uh, co-op uh, better, of course. Um, but these are just some of the things I have. Um, Dynamaxing is one of the big things that they're most likely going to be doing. But like I said, if they are, if they are not doing Dynamaxing, um, I just thought I'd throw some of my ideas out there. But, uh, but yeah. This is not going to be a long video, um, I just wanted to sort of throw in some of my ideas, like I said, um, cause like, who knows, maybe, um, a dev comes across this video and they're like, uh, oh, this guy has some good ideas, and then he looks at the comments and then you guys are talking about it too, leaving your ideas, so then like, it, it, it's a community thing, of course, so then like, getting together, talking about it, uh, sending them feedback, um, letting them know what we want with co-op, even though a lot of us probably already did do or send a lot of feedback letting them know like hey do this with co-op do that with co-op uh, you should revive co-op and stuff like that um so that's probably why um they sort of gave us a little uh, sprinkle of what's to come for the two-year anniversary with dynamaxing because as we know with sword of shield like i said it is a big feature uh with the raids and everything and what's keeping sword of shield alive um and then that's like a co-op feature in uh sword and shield so like that is a high possibility so like who knows they th that is like a 99% chance uh, that they're gonna be doing co-op in that way um but there is a small chance that it won't be co-op so I just wanted to leave my uh, ideas but anyways that's gonna be it for the video let me know what you guys think leave your um things leave your ideas down in the comments below hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys later